back. I have a tutorial for you. Obviously, I'm wearing this crazy electric makeup. I use the Sleek Acid Palette. I'm going to show you how I got this look. And yeah, there's a little surprise for you guys at the end. So don't don't click off before the end of the video. <laughs> Take it to the end. See what the nice little surprise is. If you guys are interested in learning how I got this look and all the products that I use, then just keep watching. Alright guys, we're going to get started. I did the right eye for this one for reference because there's a lot of colors involved, but it's not that hard. <laughs> I primed my eyes using Max Painterly Paint Pot to prevent the eyeshadow from creasing and to help with a nice even base on my eyelid. Today we're going to be using two palettes. Actually, you really only need one, but I'll tell you what I did with the second one. I started with the Naked Basics palette for a transition shade and a highlight shade. So if you have two shadows that work for that, then you rock it. I'm going to take my Sigma E40 and I'm going to put uh, this color here, which is a Naked 2, in the transition. I'm going to use that as a transition color. It gets blended away for the most part, but you know, not blended away, but I just like it to be there. It's like my comfort. It's my comfort. And now I'm going to take Walk of Shame, which is a nice cream color, and I'm going to use that as my highlight. And now we're done with the Naked Basics palette. Um, if you have a cream and transition color you'd like to use, you feel free. You don't need that. The rest of the colors we are going to use this Sleek Acid palette, and I was feeling like, I don't know, rainbowy today. So, haha, <laughs> hence the rainbow. I'm going to start this look off with just a little concealer brush, and I'm going to start with this, this crazy lime green color in the palette, and I start with that in the beginning of the eye. Now, if you want to use a white base on your eyelid, you feel free. Um, I just never do, because I think these colors are very pigmented. And I just don't, because I don't. I'm going to bring that onto the lower lid a little bit here. Now I'm going to take this shade here. It's a blue, the blue shade in the palette. It's a light blue. It's kind of metallic. I'm going to take a little bit of that on the end of a, um, uh, what is this called? <laughs> Coastal Sense 250. I'm going to put that right in the crease. Just gonna blend that in. Now this is metallic-y, but I'm gonna cover part of this with some purple later on. But I'm just kind of looking to amp up the sheen, really. You guys will see what I'm talking about in, in a bit. And it just kind of blended out like that. Not a ton. Now I'm going to go in with a different brush, a different concealer brush, and I'm gonna go in with this pink color here, electric neon pink. In my day, they called it fluorescent. <laughs> and I'm going to put that right up to where the blue is on the lid and meet it with the green. Now I'm going to flip that same brush over and I'm going to hit the orange. And we're going to put a little bit of orange on the edge of where we just put the pink and we're gonna blend it. I'm just looking for a rainbow transition. Um, however you feel comfortable doing that is cool. Uh, if you wanna stack the colors, like put the green, then the yellow, then the orange, and the pink, you could do that too. This is just how I like doing it. I feel like it makes a nice gradient when I do it this way, I don't know. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take this yellow here in the palette and I'm going to put that on the edge of the green. And meet it with the orange. Keep going back and forth between the orange and the yellow until you kind of achieve the gradient that you're looking for. Um, now see, they don't look exactly the same. Um, if that makes you feel uncomfortable, you can make them look exactly the same. Um, that's okay too. I'm not necessarily hung up on that. Like I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow here. 
but it's kind of like a watercolor kind of rainbow if that makes sense to you guys. <laughs> now I'm going to go in with this purpley lavender, not purple, not lavender, purple, it's purple. And I'm going to blend this into the outer V and the crease. And I'm going to start to cover up that blue a little bit on the outer, you know, in the crease there. And we're just going to kind of put it right over where we put the blue. Because a lot of these shadows in this palette are matte. Uh, only a couple of them have kind of like a metallic look to it. And this blue that we put in the crease first has a metallic look. So when I cover it with another color, it just, it, it's so beautiful. Now I'm just going to take another blending brush and I'm going to grab this color here. It's just a kind of maroon kind of fuchsia and we're going to put that in the outer V and we're just going to warm that up a little bit. There's so much traffic today you guys, I'm sorry. I'm going to take a little bit more of the electric pink and add that here. Just want to make sure I don't lose that color. And blend a little bit. Alright, I'm going to take this purple color. It's called Plushy by Urban Decay. And we're going to put that on the lower lash line. Just going to take a pencil brush and smudge that out. a little bit of this blue color here in the palette well the darker blue of the two and that same pencil brush and I'm going to run that right over that that pencil that we just used that's adding color and it is setting it and now we're gonna just take that maroon kind of fuchsia color and I'm gonna run that underneath the lash line I'm going to go back in with my Sigma E40 and I'm going to grab a little bit of the transition shade Naked 2 and I'm going to blend out this right here just to make sure that is a nice transition. It's like you can't really see the shade but it helps. It helps with that, that being transitioned and blended and such. And now we're just going to take a little bit of the lighter blue shade and we are going to put that right up here. A little, a little bit. Okay, so the shadow is done. Oh, see, it actually it didn't take that much time, and it's lots of color and but lots of layering. Um, I'm going to layer a little bit more of this orange right here. I'll bring the orange in a little bit. Okay. All right. What's next? Okay. What's next is a black eyeliner. So I did a nice wing, not overly dramatic, but I know if I try to do that on camera right now, I'm going to fudge it up. I'm going to go do my black liner wing and I'm going to add some mascara to the upper lashes. Yeah. Okay. So I added the uh, winged liner on the top lid. Uh, yeah. It's added now. <laughs> and I did a little bit of mascara. I just want to make sure that these are even. Even Steven. I put some mascara on the upper lashes. Uh, I'm going in with Perversion Liner by Urban Decay. Do a little bit of tight lining. And I'm also going to put some on the lower lash line as well. Alright, I'm going to take my Clinique Bottom Lash and I'm going to add some mascara to the lower lash line. So we're going to add some lashes because obviously this look needs lashes. So I'm going to use these Miss Adora lashes in the Demi Wispy. And they just give a nice, not natural, but like natural-ish kind of, you know what I mean? They're kind of like this. Okay, so I'm going to go add those and I'll be right back. <laughs> 
and then we're gonna do the rest of the face. We need to clean up because even though the eyes look great, the face is looking kind of crazy. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna take my NARS Radiant Creamy, Creamy Concealer. Let's do those under eyes because you definitely need cleanup. <gasps> Shai is my new beauty blender. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna use this new little tiny beauty blender. See how I like it. If I, I don't think I dried it off enough. Okay, there we go. Feels better now. It looks so dirty right away. I love how itty bitty it is. And I can go back into my normal one. Finish the job. I'm going to set the rest of my face with my Serenity Scalp Press Powder Foundation in Fairest. I'm going to go back in the palette and grab some of the maroon. I'm just going to touch up and make that color pop under the eye. And I'm also going to grab a little bit of that lime green and make that really stand out. Okay, now I'm going to grab my nearly empty NYX Blush and Taupe because this has a certain hue to it that I love with rainbow eyes and we're going to contour with that. Okay, I got this like Sigma sample thing and I matched and I figured I would try it. Uh, I'm going to try this color Born too. See what it's all about. Never tried these little blush samples, so I figured why not. <laughs> and I'm going to take my blush brush. And let's see. Mm, bad. Not bad. I like that blush. I'm going to go ahead and punch up my contour a little bit more. I'm going to take my uh, my powder foundation. I'm going to go right underneath where my contour was. So I'm just going to punch that up a little bit. And now I'm going to, going to take this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, if I could get it open, in Moonstone. And we're going to highlight using my fan brush. Okay, for lips today, I'm going to use this. This is Innocent Vixen by LA Splash. It is a long-wearing lipstick because I'm going into the city for an event and I really don't want to be messing around with my lips at all when I'm in the city. So, let's go for this today. Okay, guys, this is the finished look. I am... Stoked. I love wearing rainbow makeup. <laughs> Rainbows are my thing. You guys know I have my rainbow butterfly. I just, I've loved rainbows since I was a kid and my house was filled with them and I just, I love wearing rainbow makeup. I do. Oh, I think my bad's home. <laughs> Alright, well, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I do have a little surprise for you guys, though. I used the Sleek Acid Palette today in this look, and as a little sneak surprise, I did get a second one for you guys to do a giveaway. I just want to say thank you for all your love and support and all your positivity for all my makeup tutorials. I just love wearing crazy makeup, and I love that you guys love that I wear <laughs> crazy makeup. So if you want to to enter to win a acid palette by Sleek, then just check the description bar for all the info on how to enter and win. And yeah, that's it. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for all your love and support, as I said before. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see more crazy tutorials, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.